Uh, okay, uh, hello everyone again, and welcome to part two. Uh, so we uh, we talk about how to write a manuscript, and we talk about publication process, and we understand what is the type of database, and what I mean by index journal. Now we will talk about how to find a suitable journals. Now our manuscript is ready. We want to find the journal to publish our manuscript. So we have four, uh, four very uh, useful sites. The first one is journalfinder.elsevier.com. It is a website belong to uh, Elsevier. Uh, so this is the website. When you go to journal, you put your title, your abstract, keywords, and what is the field of your research, and you just click on find journals. So when you click on find journals, of course, you can click on refine your research. You can put some uh, uh, criteria, like if you want journal that offer open access, or you want to, uh, or you want to uh, choose journal only with uh, subscription, okay? So this is the, even the site score, you can, if you want uh, high journals, uh, also the time to the first decision, they have a lot of uh, criteria and filters. And this is how you will get the result. They will give you the name. This is the ISSN. Also here, they will put you OARS. OA, that means it is only open access journals. And of course, they will t tell you that for OA, the price of APC is 800 USD. This is the site score. If they have impact factor, they will put here the impact factor. Acceptance rate is 82%, which is very high. And of course, time to the first decision is six weeks. So the first decision from your submission to the first decision is about six weeks. And the time to the publication is 25 weeks. That means publication is online publication. So they give you the detail of everything. And of course, if you if you click here on submit paper, you can submit your paper. And also, if you want more detail about the journal scope, you can put the uh, scope and what is the coverage of the journals, uh, 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 all the details about the journals is here. Okay, so this is the first one is belong to Elsevier. This is the other one also. Other journals, they will put like, this is the site score, impact factor, acceptance rate, all these, the same information. The second website is belong to uh, Springer Nature, Journal Suggester. Also, all these websites, what you need is the title, the manuscript or abstract, and also what is your subject area. So here again, you have some of the criteria, what is your minimum impact factor, minimum acceptance rate, maximum type, to first decision and what is your index you say i only want scopus and also here for journals you want all journal or you have only open access or only the subscription journal which is the hybrid journals and then the result will be like this he will give you the oa here you can see oa this is impact factor this is the first decision average is 25 days and also the acceptance rate so you just click on the journal, you can submit your paper, but of course you need to read the instruction to authors. Okay, the third website is belong to Willy Journal Finders. This is a big publisher. Also the title, the abstract, and then you click on find, and this is how you, they get for you. It is the impact factor, uh, the ISI ranking, and is open access is optional or it is compulsory if it is an open access journals and how it is relevant to your topic and you click on submit to this journal you can submit the paper to the journals the last uh, site is uh, edans also you have to put also the title abstract and they have a criteria like this is the factor impact factor uh, you want to index in the science citation index the frequency how many issues they have per year Okay, this is the Edans editing journal selector also is very useful. And you can do this one, the frequency, the impact factor, or you arrange according to the uh, uh, alphabet. And also uh, you can see this is like impact factor, the impact factor, and if it is indexed in ISI or no, is yes, like here. 
Okay. How to find the fast journals? Okay, we all of you will receive an email like this in your spam email, publish your paper within three days. Of course, this is a scam. This is a predatory journals. You cannot publish your paper in three days. This is something wrong. Okay, so this is predatory. How to know predatory journals? As we said, we have two websites. We are talking about predatoryjournals.com and we have about billslist.net. This is, these are the two websites. This is the bills list. You have the publisher. Uh, we have the standalone journals. And also for the predatory uh, journals uh, website, we have a list of predatory journals, publisher, hijacked journals, and also even some of the metrics. Because some of the journal they put, we have impact factor, which is not impact factor. The only uh, database that give impact factor is Web of Science, any other think is not impact factor so even there is a predatory metrics you have to be aware of this so uh, usually before you choose a journal go to these web two websites check that your the journal is not a predatory not a scam uh, and then you choose the journal this is if the journal is not in scopus and uh, uh, web of science okay how to find a fast journal you need to check the journal review speed this is very important and as we said, this is the first decision. The time from submission to first decision can determine for you if it is a speedy journal, quick journal or no. And also you need to check how many issues they have per year. Because journal with two issues, that means they are slow journals compared to the journal that publish a lot of, a lot of issues. Okay, so you need to check how many uh, issues the journal they publish per uh, year. The other things, if you go to Elsevier website, they have uh, a website called journalinsight.elsevier.com. They give you the insight for each journals. That's mean the speed review, online article publication time, online article public uh, uh, till the times, this one, the review speed, and they compare for the previous uh, five years. This is an example. That's mean that the review, uh, uh, process is uh, make uh, is uh, faster every year okay this is the metrics submission to first decision submission to the final for uh, for each uh, journals and the other things when you go to uh, scopus website you go to subject area you, you you choose your subject area then you will see all the result for your uh, subject area how many journals in your area and then you have to uh, arrange them according to the number of documents from the higher to the lowest so you can see that this journal they published 2000 in the last three years that means they have um, they are very active they are very quick in the review speed so this journal is good and uh, fast and also in every journal you just go to scopus content coverage here i highlight in the red color and under it you can see like in every year how many paper they uh, they publish every year. That means this journal is very active. The review speed, the editorial, they are handling the review process, the publication process is very fast. So you can depend on this journal that this journal is a fast journal compared to other journal in that subject area. Okay, some uh, we'll talk about submission and review tips. Uh, first of all, before you submit your paper, you need the email of all the co-authors, cover letter, as you know that we have title page, we have main documents, table and figure in separated file, and of course, nowadays we are talking about ORCID. Every researcher must have ORCID uh, ID. This is very important. Now, uh, many journals in the submission process, they will ask you about your ORCID number. Okay, so this is the title page. Usually it's contained the title, author name, affiliation, and corresponding author details. Uh, why there is a title page separated from the manuscript? Because journal, they are ensuring the blind review. So when they send your document to the reviewer, the reviewer, they don't know your name or your affiliation. So it will be not biased against you. Cover letter is to introduce yourself. What is the main finding? And between two brackets, it is you are selling your paper to the journal. Why the journal should uh, publish your paper? This is important. And also you have to end the cover letter that this article never been published before or under evaluation elsewhere. 
the main document file, manuscript text without names and affiliation. This is very important. And some journal, they ask you the table and figures to be in a separated uh, files. Okay, the review process, oh, sorry. So the review process, when you submit your manuscript, it will go to the editorial office. The staff will check the format and style. He will check the references style, abstract. Did you follow the author guidelines? If it is everything okay, he will, <coughs> sorry. He will pass it to the editor in chief to check. So editor in chief, as he said, he will he will look for your title, abstract, maybe the tables. If it is not good, he will reject immediately. If it is okay, <coughs> sorry. If it's okay, he will send to reviewers. Most of the journal they send it to minimum of two reviewers. Some of the journal they send you to a five uh, reviewers. So they will give the reviewers sometimes to do the review and also give recommendation. Recommendation is either uh, accept with minor correction, with major, or reject. After that, the report will go again to the editor in chief to check the review report. So he will decide either to reject the paper or he will send it back to the author to do the correction based on the reviewer comment. And after that, after the author do the correction, maybe the editor in chief or sometimes they return it back to the reviewer. The reviewer he is not convinced with your uh, reply and your correction or your answer to the question and also the editor in chief so your paper will be rejected again and if it is everything is okay your paper will be accepted but keep in your mind if the journal asks you to do the correction 70 to 80 percent your paper will be accepted but some cases yes you do correction and then it will be rejected after the correction has been done, but in 70 to 80 percent, the paper will be accepted if the journal asks you to do the correction or to reply the reviewer comments. So we'll talk about this one, uh, about the reviewers, just a repetition. Okay, so after the receiving the review report, the editor-in-chief should decide if both reviewers accept, usually the paper will be accepted. If one uh, reviewer accept, the one reject, the editor-in-chief will decide. And if two rejected, usually the paper is rejected. But in sometimes the editor in chief can rule out reviewer decision and can accept the paper. Why? Because the editor in chief he has uh, he is he know better about the journal policy. Maybe this paper will be interested. Will get more citation to the journals, uh, more publicity to the journals. So it depends on the editor in chief. He is the only person who can decide if the paper is accepted or uh, no. Submission to decision, how, how long it takes? It varies from two weeks to one year. Some journals take even more than one year. So it depends on the journals, as we said. But as uh, keep in mind, after eight weeks, if there is no response from journal, you can send an email. You ask about manuscript status. And if you send two, three emails, there is no response. You can withdraw your paper by sending an email to the journal saying that I want to withdraw. I am officially telling you that I will withdraw my paper from your uh, journal because of no response from your side. And you keep this email as an evidence when you, when you submit your manuscript to another uh, journals. Okay, how to answer the reviewers? This is very important. First of all, you need to start with thanking the reviewers for their comments and time to improve my works. You have to answer all the comments. This is very important. Do not ignore any comments. You have to answer all the comments. Even if you disagree with them, you have to say, you no, need to, no need to follow whatever they said, but you need to answer them. Example, they ask you to change something. You said, uh, sorry, I, uh, I, uh, this, uh, this is my justification that we cannot do what you are suggesting, but you need to reply them. And better is make it uh, like this. It is a form, so it will be more organized. We are talking about the comments. This is my response, and this is you put the page or the line number, so he can, the reviewer can uh, refer to your manuscript, your revised manuscript, and uh, see your correction. Okay, uh, we'll talk a little bit about, uh, this is the last part, and after that we will open for uh, Q&A. Uh, the myth about publication, number one, is publishing with a closed access option is good. No, it is not good. Of course, it is a free, but for the long term, it is not good because the, your citation uh, will be less, your edge index will be less, so it will affect your long term um, uh, plan uh, for author and also for institution. 
Non-scopus journal are not good quality. No, there is thousands of journal, not scopus, but they are good quality. They belong to universities. Uh, they are in the Doge and other uh, reputable database. So this is a myth that non-scopus journal is not good quality. All scopus journal are good also, no. As we said that if every if everyone is good quality, so why every year Scopus they are throwing away uh, hundreds of journal outside uh, of their database? That means they are not following the good quality in the submission reviewing or in the publication process and not following the ethical uh, process. Uh, journals in Q3 and Q4 are not good, and they will be out from Scopus. There is no relationship between the which in which quarter the journal and they are being discontinued. Why? Because scope is a criteria for journal re-evaluation every year. It's this is the six criteria. Number one is the self-citation rate, total citation, the cite score, how many articles, the number of full text clicks on scopus.com and abstract usage on scopus.com. So scopus every year, they reevaluate the journal based on this six criteria. It is not based on the Q3, Q4. So if the journal fail in one of the criteria, first they will send them a warning letter, a warning email like you are fail in this part. So if you continue next year, you will be discontinued coverage from scopus. So this is how the uh, Scopus discontinue the uh, coverage of the uh, journals. Okay, uh, this is if you are interested to go, go in details about publishing scientific research. Uh, this is my, uh, I have a course on Odemi. Uh, it's called Publishing Scientific Research. Uh, you can take the course at the end of the course. Of course, if you finish it and pass the, the quiz, you can get a certificate from Odemi. Uh, this uh, course has been taken by around 1,780 students till now. This is the, you can just search on Odemi. Also, I put you the... Uh, this is the, I will put you the link in the in the chat. And also, uh, I will put all this um, uh, research and publication, the Facebook, if you want the YouTube uh, channels, and also my slide share. You can find uh, many, uh, many lectures on, uh, on research and publication on my uh, slide share uh, channel also. And uh, now we will open for question and answer.